With a rose and a gun Feel the wind in my hair Going nowhere I swear It's rolling. You ready? Three, two, one. Walk up, walk up, walk up, walk up. Boom. Hey guys, it's Patrick Star. Welcome back to my channel. I know you guys want to see this beauty room, as you can tell by the title. This is a beauty room tour. Oh my gosh, Mr. Kate decorated this room. Glam duo, Kate and Joey, thank you so much. Subscribe to the channel. Yes, we did a full room makeover show on their channel. If you guys haven't seen it, without further ado, subscribe and let's just get right into this video. Okay, you guys, this is the beauty room door. And voila! That is the room. Okay, so when you first walk in, you see my first collaboration ever. If you guys didn't know, I collaborated with Sephora and Formula X. It was amazing. This is like truly iconic, honestly, to me. This is like my most favorite thing. And she had custom framed this. Um, and I had a four tier display. So it was the first display and then each polish had its own display and she put it in like a shadow box. Do you see that? It's like completely 3D and she glued it on exactly where the picture was so you can see the actual campaign shot. This was, by the way, shot in my old apartment. So it was so crazy. I had just got my apartment, got all this furniture. This just brings so, so many memories. Like this nail polish broke like right after we took that shot. It shattered all over the floor. They used it. So this is just really, really special to me and I'm glad that she put it in here and it really sets the mood. So this also blocks off the electric box. Can you see that? It's like the perfect, perfect size. This is the dough, it has like a frosted glass and right behind the dough is nothing. But on the doorknob, I do have all of my trade shows that I've done from VidCon to Spain to, oh, there's a Tarte party. Um, RuPaul's Dragon, by the way, I'm going this year. Um, Fame Expo, oh my gosh. Corpus Christi with Selena's, um, event. I'm um, Generation Beauty. So that's all that. Yeah, so I love keeping these. They're really special. Brings back memories, and it's a fun little memoir doorknob. There's a little outlet right here. I don't know where to start. I think I will start with this right here. This is my closet i know you guys are probably wondering like what that i was actually gonna do this last but i will show it to you guys first it is the best i'm gonna back up and show you guys do you guys see this is like amazing it's so special when i had first moved in here i was just gonna put alex drawers straight across like you know the ones that ikea straight across focus and then i was like you know what let me call mr kate so then mr kate came over and she was like you know what return all those drawers cancel the order and i'm just gonna do a custom closet for you so we looked into california closets that was like hella 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 expensive but she said you know what ikea is great so these are the pax pax system pax systems at ikea so she has one system here which matches obviously this side. And then she has the middle system here and we could just fill it up with drawers all the way, but she left this open space for me that way. It's super cute and fun. Oh my God, by the way, this notebook, Mr. Kate touched this and she gave me a little cheat sheet of where everything is from. So I'm gonna try my best to remember what I got. Oh my God, look, I like sketches. Yeah, so anyways, there's my Mickey wig. Brenda would usually go there. Brenda is sleeping right now. She has yet to be sane. She's she's hibernating. Um, and this is my Mariah Carey box. I hope this video isn't like too sporadic. I just feel like when I vlog, I either speak too fast, people don't understand me, but hopefully y'all are keeping up, okay? On top, let's start from the top and go to the bottom. So on top, I have these Ikea, Oh my god, that freaking scared the shit out of me. <laughs> Bitch, what are you doing back there? Oh my god. Huh. Doesn't it look fucking creepy from here? Oh my gosh, can't look at her. Anyways, so from here... <laughs> anyways, from here we have all these boxes from Ikea. And these are all wig boxes. So, I had labeled them right here. Red-purple wigs, blue wigs, black wigs, dark 
round wig, so pretty much every wig is up there. And yes. And then on this side, I will do a makeup collection in a future video. It's just way too much. I guess um, on this side I have all my makeup. Setting spray, primer, concealer. And she got these little um, things from, I believe, Amazon. And then she got these knobs here from Anthropology. These are so cute. And what's great about these is that they make the system look completely custom and it's completely organized. And this is such a dream closet. Uh, I'll just let you guys know really quick right here with the foundation. I wanted it to be really close to my concealer. So when I'm pulling for collabs or if I'm doing my makeup or someone else's makeup, it's like relatively close. So I'm going to sneak preview guys this foundation drawer because it's my favorite drawer foundations that's all you guys get if you guys want a tour give this video a thumbs up a makeup collection tour so here's all makeup there's palettes there's two lash drawers um there's a little step stool there in case i can't reach because literally look at how tall i am put your height down below because i'm pretty short when people meet me they're like oh you're so tall because when i have the turban and the heels I'm like 6'2", but I'm like really 5'6", five, 5'7", five, but you see I can't like even look in this primer drawer right here because it's really, really tall. Um, setting sprays are up here, so I put all the unnecessary things that I really don't use often, like up here. Oh my god, there's a mirror right there, mirror, mirror on the wall. Who's the most snatched of them all? Guys, I have been watching Khloe Kardashian's Revenge Body, and I feel like I'm on the show. I just signed up at LA Fitness, and I feel like I'm the I'm the cutest thing on the planet, but we working on it, okay? Anyways, so on this side, I know this is such a long video already, but this is all my skincare and hair. So I have hair, tanning, lotion, makeup remover, cleansers, masks, serums, moisturizer, nails. <sighs> Out of breath. Foundation, palettes, palettes, eyeshadows, liquid lipsticks, lipsticks, setting spray, primer, concealer, bronzer, lashes, lashes, mascara, eyebrows, and highlighters. Do y'all want to see my highlighter drawer? Do y'all want to see? Can y'all catch that? I wonder who the fuck this is. The fuck? It stands out so much. Um, we got Ofro, we got Pixie, we got Jeffree Star, Artist Couture, Makeup Geek. Um, oh my gosh, I'm just gonna save that for another video. You guys are probably like, oh, I wanna see everything. Anyways, oh my gosh, I just put this canvas up uh, last night. No, I did not purchase it myself. And let me just show you a little bit of me. So, Instagram had featured me last year at VidCon as one of the top creators, which was so freaking cool. They had this whole Instagram wall, and they gifted me this canvas, which I thought was so beautiful, and I love it. So, whenever I'm filming here, I can come into the reflection and check my mirror and how I look. I look so cute! Oh my god! Look how fucking cute I look! So out of breath. By the way, I just came back from Aspen, Colorado. The altitude there just f with your with your mental state. You just feel hungover. You can't breathe. Let's just say I'm in Aspen right now, in Aspen mode. Anyways, there is this beautiful yellow couch. Um, I don't remember exactly where it's from, but most of the things here are from IKEA, Overstock, CB2, and Home Goods, and cost plus which is kind of like a big lot to me first off i just want to say with this room i would have never picked anything like this i just knew i wanted something colorful quirky like retro and that was the inspiration that i told her and if you look at the rest of the apartment the rest of the apartment is very neutral because i do film at home and work from home, I wanted to make a space that was completely separate so I can just switch into work mode. So whenever I'm in here, I feel happy, I feel colorful, I feel inspired. And if you guys see here, like the artwork, even the artwork on the wall is not the magazines or anything. It's just simply neutral things. But this looks so cute. Oh my God, screenshot. Oh my God. Anyways, but yeah, that's the inspiration of this room. Oh my gosh, do you guys love this? This 
is so amazing. The rug, can we just talk about the rug? The rug is simply stunning. It's, I would have never, ever, ever picked this rug. Um, it just goes through the room and it ties the room all together. If you notice, she like painted the walls white and like a peach and it's just neutral and then everything else can stand out on its own. And I love how she brought the element of a plant. There's comfort, there's like a touch of modern, there's like retro. So let's start here. The rug is, I believe, from a uh, rug website that she got, which I will list down below. Actually, I'm going to list everything that she put in the notepad in the description box in case you guys want to see where things are from. Um, this coral, I believe, was from Home Goods, And this tray. This tray is really cool because whenever I film, I'm able to pick up the tray and pick up the makeup, come back and film, and then just put it back. That's way, that, that way it's an organized mess in the tray instead of all over the table. This beautiful um, fake bouquet. I'm going to sit down. Do you mind? This fake bouquet is from Home Goods. She had like a little custom pea. She had like a candle, some crystals. It's just a bunch of color and it's so much fun. Why is this chair crooked? Hold on. So the chairs are much better. She got these from a vintage store. These, uh, these chairs, these tulip retro chairs are literally vintage from like the 60s. Uh, I don't know. I don't want to mess up the era, but this is so freaking cool and This is what it looks like from this side. We have like a cute table. Again, like I would have never paired this marble table with this couch or the rug because it's so sleek. And I think it's cute because the style and the elements bounce off each other and it just works. I'm not saying you have to like this style. It's just something unique that keeps my mind creatively stimulated and it's just fun. But anyways, there's like a little crystal lamp here. There's like a little plant. I think that's real. I haven't watered it since she came, but anyways, uh, there's another plant here. I'm trying to keep it alive. And then I have curtains here. She got this curved curtain rod from Ikea. These um, curtains are Calvin Klein. Yes, God, they're Calvin Klein, but they are from, I believe, like Ross or Marshalls. Over here, we have this backdrop set, which is so cool because I bought this before she came. I knew I wanted a studio space where I could film and I can pull backdrops, which by the way, I have more backdrops under the couch. I have a white, I have a purple, and these are four foot backdrops. And I got this from Amazon. It's about $120 or so. There's different kinds and it's a pulley system. I thought it was so cool. As a little kid, you know, I've always pretended to be a photographer and it's really cool that I have my own now, so. You know, make it work. Um, yeah, I love this so much. And I think the colors up top, the pastels, I choose to have them up there just because it adds like height and cuteness to the room. And this is like a blank wall. Oh my God. And there is my one million plaque. I don't know where to put it. Let me know where I should put it. If I should put it in the living room or if I should put it in here. Like it's really, it's like this is such a, a treasure and it's just sad sitting here in the corner. But um, this is really special to me and I never thought I would have one. I remember the first time I ever saw one was Promise Fun. I went to do a wedding in Tampa, Florida and then um, Promise lived in Tampa. And she was like, oh my God, let's have a sleepover. And I was like, oh my God. So I stayed in her guest room And, oh my god, to my surprise, her plaque was right there. And I was like, oh my gosh, that is so crazy. I've all, like, I hope, you know, to even get 100,000 subscribers. And, you know, here I am. I just hit 2 million. And I just want to say you guys can do it. Like, never give up. Because dreams can come true. Um, yes. Oh my god, I, I'm so sorry. I'm all over the place. If I'm making you dizzy, I'm so sorry. I really want to show you guys this table. I'm going to call Peter to film me and demonstrate because this table is freaking dope. You see this pedal right here? Yeah, I'm going to show you the magic. Give me one second. Peter, can you film me? I'm going to show them the table. Hurry up. They're waiting. So what's really cool about this table, it comes up and I like it because it's a little bit heavy. She got this from overstock.com, like elevating table. And it's really nice because it's glass. So everything is like solid, like the couch, the chairs, the rug, the closet. It's all so much going on. So it's really cool that there's a sense of air with a glass table, it's not too bulky. So if you have a small room like me, glass 
would be a great option because it gives a sense of lightness to the room. But anyways, without further ado, you just step on this. And it's cool because I get to have meetings with collabs, so I'll sit here and they'll sit there or vice versa. We'll just chat here, have some tea, and oh my god, look. Oh my god. And it can literally stop at any height. So this is really high. This is like a dining table. But if you want it to go down, you can you have to be very careful. Like you could stop it here. And that's really cute too. But I like to leave it low. But when I film, I'll put it up and then do my makeup. So if you guys want to see how high I put it, this is about how high I put it. And you guys notice this backdrop. I've been filming on this backdrop. So I'll be right here with my tray, the camera. You guys are probably wondering, like, how, where are your lights? Where is your tripod? I'm filming in my living room right now. But when they are in here, yes, it is really crowded. It's really tight. I film with about five, six lights, a tripod, a backlight, a hair light. So there's just so many lights in here. But that's why I decided today, since I'm filming out there, I will do this video for you here and show you what it originally feels and looks like so yeah thanks peter by the way these chairs are so freaking cute um this is what i sit on when i'm filming youtube videos let's talk about this chest this chest was the most expensive thing in the room i believe this is from anthropology can we talk about this wall though it's such a cute like setup i know this might be bugging you that it's off center but that's just how the room is made but these chairs, I sit here for my collabs, but this sideboard, Mr. K calls this a sideboard, I call this a chest, I call this a dresser, whatever you want to call this, it's beautiful, it's the most expensive thing in the room because it's very detailed, as you can see there's divots right here, it looks very art deco, great Gatsby, um, it's a nude, and I was like, hmm, I wonder if this will fit in with the theme, and surprisingly it does. And I think there's so much color elsewhere. Something so big, it doesn't stand out. It doesn't look as bulky, so that's what I love. Um, and it's awesome. It fits so much, and it fits literally everything on top for my backdrops. Oh, by the way, this is my mirror that Mr. Kate got. It's on, like, a marble stand. I believe she got this from, like, Home Goods or Marshalls. It's so nice for when I'm filming. And a lot of accessories are, again, from Home Goods Michaels. I'm going to show you what's in here. I believe this is where I keep all my techie stuff. Yep, techie stuff. Oh, Urban Decay Vice, um, Tatcha, another T. Jenna. Come on, T. Jenna. Oh, my gosh. When I made that, that video on the IKEA makeup storage hack, T. Jenna is pronounced Shana. Shana, Shana, Shana in Swedish. And Shana means hello or hey girl you know that's what everyone was telling me so i thought that was a cool fact these flowers are apparently real i do not know um joey gave me this um venus at venus at a fleur venus of venus at fleur um these are real they smell like roses i don't know if they're ever gonna die maybe they're fake with perfume but either way it looks cool and it has my name on it oh my god y'all want to know a secret a secret though so a little secret is that we don't took off the glass on this. You see there's glass, there's glass, there's glass. On these three, I took out the glass because it kept reflecting on the camera. So that's like a little YouTube secret. And we made this with Mr. Kate. Mr. Kate made that one. These are swatches, I believe, of like ColourPop and Wet n Wild things. Construction paper, to, again, to mimic the Art Deco. And she made this little gal here, and this is my Beverly Hills inspired drag mama up here. Um, of course, there's more boxes. Of course, you know, do y'all know my favorite lip liner? My favorite lip liner is Cafe Ole Mama. Yes. I literally went to Ulta and bought like 10 Cafe Ole pencils. They're so inexpensive. They're like $3.95, and I bought 10, so I spent like 40 bucks on these pencils because I literally go through them. Y'all know I love my Overline. Don't hang. Anyways, there's more fake flowers, fake grass. These are cool. And they just add like height and levels to the to my YouTube videos. Over here, I have a bar cart, uh, which is really cute. That's a little lamp, a face, just like little trinkets. And of course, I have my benefit. I have my mirrors for when I film. I have Make Forever Tatcha, a, you know, a bunch of benefit mirrors. 
uh, Mariah Carey down there, a Benefit Locker. Down here, I have freaking brushes for days. And no, I do not use all these brushes. I, I know, I know, I know. Like, don't... <sighs> oh my gosh. Shall I do a giveaway soon? I think so. Y'all know I love my powder puffs. And my powder puffs here, brush cleaners, the booty blender bin, and I, of course, have more um, makeup organizers, canisters, and what not. Let me zoom out, give you one last look at the booty room. Oh my god, let's just call this the booty room, okay? Booty room tour, hey. Oh my god, if y'all made it to the end, comment, I love the booty room tour, yes. Oh my god, I forgot to mention these drag dolls. Mr. K called them my drag dolls. They're, I believe they're from like Cost Plus or something. And this represents me and my little brothers, Patrick, Peter, and Paul. Yes, we're all peace. If you didn't know, yes, we're Filipino. And that completes the finished booty room tour. All right, you guys, this is the finished video. If you guys like the booty room tour, comment down below, booty room tour, if you made it this far in the video. This room is, again, so beautiful. I feel really honored and special. I hope you guys enjoy this. If you guys want to see the makeup collection, let me know. All right, you guys, thank you guys so much for watching. Subscribe. I love you guys so much, and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye!